The F4D1 is a level 9 American event plane. This plane will test your trigger patience unlike any other plane. First let's take a look at its performance. At its tier, it's pretty good. It has a decent top speed and if you fly high enough you can even go supersonic. You can run away from most non-afterburning planes and even some afterburning planes. The stall speed is the second lowest at this tier, the only plane with a lower stall speed is the A4E, when this plane is completely maxed out, the optimal speed is very good. You can engage in a sustained turn fight where you can stay at your optimal, but as soon as you start gaining altitude while turning, your speed will start to lower. If your F4D is stock, you can forget about sustained turn fights, you'll have to slightly pitch down while turning to maintain your optimal speed. If your enemy starts pitching up you're gonna run out of energy, the thrust to weight ratio is one of the highest in this tier, without such a strong engine this plane would be much harder to fight in. The turn rate is also pretty good, as long as you stay at your optimal. However, you can't outturn everything, planes like the MiG-15 or Mystere can easily outturn you. And finally, the roll rate. It's nothing special. Now that we know what its performance is like, we can talk about the playstyle, overall. This plane has very good performance, so it's decent at every playstyle. If you decide to use this plane as a turn fighter, you must remember which planes have a higher turn rate than you. If you're at your optimal you can even outturn some planes listed here. Next playstyle is boom and zooming. I personally do not recommend boom and zooming because that wastes too much energy. It is true that you regain that energy back quickly but only if you don't cut your afterburner. Plus. Regaining your altitude is very tedious and boring. The final playstyle is energy fighting. If you have an energy advantage over your enemy it is the preferred playstyle. Of course, you're gonna have a hard time trying to energy trap a MiG-19 or F-104. So, if you see an enemy pitching up for you, don't hesitate to try to energy trap him. Worst thing that can happen is he kills you. Moving on to the armament. This plane has four wing mounted Colt Mark 12 20mm cannons with a whopping 260 rounds, 65 per gun. Having this little ammo can be a problem for some, but as long as you don't spray from 1.5km or fire long bursts, you won't have any problems with ammo. Also try to get the enemy as slow as possible to make him an easy target to hit. You can also equip up to 4 M9Bs, which will definitely help you get more kills. And finally, the upgrades. First, I recommend you upgrade the guns, wings and engine. Upgrading these three drastically improves your flight performance. So if you have extra upgrade points, definitely spend them on these three stats. Next, I recommend you upgrade your pilot. If you turn at your optimal, you will black out sooner or later, so increasing the time before that happens is very important. The next upgrade isn't that important if you like this plane. And that is the pay grade. If this is your first tier 6 plane you should upgrade this as soon as possible. Each upgrade gives you 4 more coins per kill. Final two upgrades are the crew training and the airframe upgrade. The airframe upgrade only buffs your plane's health while the crew training reduces the reload time. Usually I would color the crew training red, but since you have very little ammo, it's good to have a lower reload time.
So, is the F4D worth grinding? Absolutely, it's a very good plane that I'm sure you'll enjoy flying. The only bad things about it are the low ammo count and poor energy retention, which can be improved with upgrades, now I'm interested in what you guys think of it. Do you think it's good or bad? Comment down below. With that said, I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.